Yeah, let's go. Uh, yeah, yeah. We came a long way. That's what the song say. And I could do all Tonight, from Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers taking on Jared Goff and the Detroit Lions. This place first opened way back in 1957. We are inside legendary Lambeau Field here in Green Bay. No team means more to a city than the Packers to Green Bay. And this was the scene a few moments ago as the green and gold made their way out of the historic tunnel. They're ready to go as they get set to match up with the Detroit Lions. Two teams that have met at least twice a year since 1932. The Lions and Packers underway from Lambeau. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the first overall selection of the 2016 draft. From Cal, it's Jared Goff. I love this guy's makeup. He is not afraid to fail. He attacks on just about every snap. Wants to throw the football downfield first. He'll throw it short if he has to. But bottom line, he wants to put a lot of pressure on the defense with his arm. First down throw, gone. That's caught by the big tight end, TJ Hawkinson. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass catching abilities. And if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. They go jet sweep here with Williams. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. And now some motion before the snap. And this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. And that'll set them back five. False start penalty, certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. This is Swift on the counter. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield after a gain of about four. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Play action. 
action. It's gone. He's airing it out for Williams. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. Tyrell Williams, 51 yards. And the Lions are going to take a first quarter lead. Well, that's how they envisioned it, get the football to start the game and score it. And I don't know if that was scripted. Was it an audible? Or was it just a play call that they had in their pocket? No matter what, they had the right call on against the right defense, and they end up in the end zone. On for the point after is Randy Bullock. It's up, it's good, and the Lions lead 7-0. A four-play drive spanning 80 yards. And the end result, a Detroit touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Veteran Green Bay quarterback Aaron Rodgers ready to go for drive number one along with the rest of this Packer offense. I think Aaron Rodgers is one of the poster boys for persistence and belief in self. Because coming out of high school, he had zero scholarship offers in the D1 level. Went to a junior college, went to Cal, and just blew up there. And then, of course, is a first-round draft pick, but a lot lower than what he expected in the first round. And then had to sit behind Brett Favre for a few years in Green Bay before getting his shot. Now he's probably one of the better quarterbacks that we've seen come down the pipe. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. A gain of three, second down. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. To throw is Rodgers. That's caught. It's Robert Tanya, the tight end. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. The coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? And a good burst there gets him seven up to midfield. Well, that run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through, pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. From midfield, here's Rodgers. That's complete to the former Aggie, Jay Sternberger. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. The defense loves to hang their hat on that, don't they? You get a guy that catches the ball, but you stop him for no gain. Without a doubt, because they're also used to trying to catch people after the catch, and they miss. And that turns into what? A huge play. We've seen it so many times. In this case, though, catch was made, put down right on the spot. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Robert Tanyan was the one he was looking for. And now it's third down. Well, when you've got a tight end who can run, you've got to give him a shot to unlock the defense. Want to see what they can get taking the big shot downfield. That one winds up incomplete. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and 10. 
Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. So they'll pass on what would have been a 49-yard field goal attempt. And they're going for it on fourth down. They'll run it with Jones. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. And on fourth down, they're able to convert and move the sticks. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And only able to muster a couple down to about the 27. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. Second down and eight. Working from the gun. Rodgers got a man. It's Tanya complete. And the Lions going with an extra DB here on third down. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he is going to have a Packers first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. I'm not sure that this play was designed for him specifically, but they got through the progressions and got the ball to him. So second catch on the drive. He may not be a primary guy, but they definitely want him involved, don't they? Uh, absolutely. This early, the opening drive, as you said, two catches. So if they can get him going to the passing game, that should open up his running game, too. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Timing's crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. Rodgers again here on second and ten. He'll drop this underneath for Jones. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. That gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep. First and goal. Well, he did everything but get him in the end zone there. But now they're set up. Golden opportunity. Strong opening drive, and they're knocking on the door. And the way that they did it. Now, look where they are on the field. All right, this is naturally set up for a running play, isn't it? But with his ability to throw the football, his accuracy on this drive, you might want to think about a pass play in this situation. Ooh, interesting. Time to find out. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. And again, it's Rodgers. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Devin Funches. There to make the grab. And the Packers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. 
First and goal, forget running the football, forget establishing anything. Just put it in the end zone with the pass for a touchdown. Well, yeah, I guess that's the definition of catching the defense off guard there. They weren't expecting that. And that totally goes against type, doesn't it? When you think first and goal from the one, you're thinking running play. On is Mason Crosby for the point after. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Khalif Raymond now. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. First down, it's gone. Looking for Perriman there, he's got him. That catch good for only a couple. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. A shotgun snap for gone. He's got this one complete to Perriman. And yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. From the gun, here's Gone. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. Three yards the gain there, second down. I know when you got a top tight end like this, you want to get him involved, but when you do, you're hoping for more than that. You certainly are. You've got to try and get him some space where he can make a play downfield or at least an opportunity for some rack yardage, right, that run after catch. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. And he works his way forward for about four up to the midfield stripe. Off. And he is caught. It's Perriman. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'll get 17 that time, and the Lions have a first down. the 28 his second catch this one not quite as dynamic as his first and it's second down from the gun here's swift down right around the 25. 
And he got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. That's, good shot. Well, that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving the running back a crease to run through, and has a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. Dean Lowry drops him for a loss of 12, and it also brings up fourth down. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> Here's Randy Bullock now as he'll go for the field goal. This from 54 yards away. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And in this first quarter of play, this will remain a tie ball game. Charles, 54 yards, I'm surprised that came up short. I would agree with that one because normally, if he misses, it's accuracy, not length, because he has plenty of leg for that. But maybe it's like I hit my golf shot, you know? Maybe it's like <laughs> my wedge. You know, when you chili dip and you hit the ground ahead of it, sometimes that'll shorten your distance as well. They'll start out on the ground with Jones, and he'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. Seven seven, our score after one. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Shotgun now for Rodgers. That'll be complete to Alan Lazard. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 22 yards there, a first down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Funches with a catch over the middle. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. They get it to Funches on the jet sweep. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. From 17 yards out. And the Packers have taken the lead. And while no one on the offensive line will get the six points next to their name, they should be credited with this one. Tremendous blocking to get the runner into the end zone. Crosby for the point after. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Five plays there on that drive. 
And the last play in the drive was a touchdown run by Aaron Jones. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bring it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. Getting set to go again here on offense, Jared Goff trots back onto the field. Been a decent start for him here in this first half, but bottom line, his team's losing. They got to fix something. And it starts with him. He has to keep that little quarterback strut going right now to make sure that his team sees him as confident. Continue to try and up his game, but just let him know, hey, if I'm around, if I'm the one calling signals and throwing the football, just follow me, we'll get there. Sometimes that will do more to elevate a team than anything else. See if he has that confidence. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. The intended target, T.J. Hawkinson. That'll bring up second down. one across the 35 11 yards there first down now a first down carry it's Williams and he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Those are the types of runs they told us they want to see more of. Look, they'd love the 60 to 70 yard runs, but those 10 to 20 yarders, they can help you win a ball game. And that means everyone's invested because you know the big guys up front. That's what they do. They try and move people. But when you get your perimeter guys involved downfield, that means that they care about the running game and they know it helps their team. going to set him back five yards. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. Open left side, it's Williams. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Call it a gain of 12, but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty. They'll fake the give, now gone. And his throw's going to be incomplete. He was waving his arms, wanted the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of a story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass that you blew coverage on, what'd you say to him? Yeah, it's really not right since I blew coverage, but since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He wasn't, real, th he wasn't real thrilled with that. It's cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. <laughs> Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. 
Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times. And what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. And look at this, it's a fake. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt, it doesn't work out, and the Packers' D comes up with a big stop. Fourth and short in this part of the field. You just know the special teams coordinator was rallying the team, saying, watch the fake, watch the fake. But Brandon, don't they usually say that on every punting situation? Oh, yeah, they can be up 40 in the fourth quarter. That's their job. They scream that every time. And this time, though, his team locked in, and they were well aware that it truly was a situation that they could fake it, and they were ready for it and stopped it. Rodgers operating from the gun. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Now Jones. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. First down, Rodgers throwing middle, and it's complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Jones, and he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling him in the huddle right now. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. From the gun, Rodgers. And his throw is incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver, and it's third and short. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. Rodgers to throw on third and one. He's got his man, Valdez Scantling. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. They go back to the ground with Jones. Down to the 25. He was taken down by Quentin Dunbar. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They'll run it with Jones. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. 
Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. They bring the blitz, and it's not always the initial blitzers that make the play. In this case, the blitzers actually took up the blocking. How about the guy in the middle, though? Reading his keys right on the spot, stops him at the line of scrimmage. And he's got his man on the out route. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. 13 yards, first down, Packers. Operating from the gun, Rodgers. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. They couldn't contain Deshaun Hand that time as he gets home for the sack. So after a rare misstep on this drive, they'll try to make amends on second and 15. Another try after the first down sack. Rodgers gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll be third and 10. from the gun, Rodgers. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. No surprise they decided to throw on third down. A little bit of a surprise that they completed the pass and lost yardage on the play. So on now for the Packers is their all-time leading scorer, Mason Crosby. And the 13-year man puts it through. And they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. After the made field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. Here's Khalif Raymond to return. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Getting set to go again here on offense, Jared Goff trots back onto the field. Been a decent start for him here in this first half, but they're losing. And I think as the captain of the offense, you probably always feel like you need to do more in that situation. The best have always felt that way, and they won't settle for anything less. So right now, his goal is to increase what he's doing on the field, try to make sure his teammates come along with him, and he feels like, if I do better, everyone will do better. And that's what we're seeing from him right now. Got to have a little extra determination. Yeah, a little extra determination. He has thrown the touchdown pass, no interceptions for him personally to this point. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. What a way to start a drive. An excellent run, a tone setter, and now if you want to take a shot on second down and go play action and make it look like the same exact play and throw it over the top, you can do so because you've established the run in a big way. Now this one complete on the slant route and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a first down on a gain of 10. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Let's go. Let's go. We 
remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catching the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Here's Gong. Oh, look over the middle, and he's got Perriman. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 36. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Goff throwing again. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. And the stiff arm made it a pretty little run, not a huge gain, but a nice chunk of yardage. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Again, golf. That's complete to Swift out of the backfield. They'll get nothing out of that one, and it's going to lead to a third down. That's a nice job defensively to make sure everyone was accounted for because ordinarily, you pick up the guys downfield, and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did not and dropped him for no gain. Throwing again is gone. That's complete to DeAndre Swift out of the backfield. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 19. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, Goff. His throw caught right around the six. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Tyrell Williams with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Lions able to get this back with it a touchdown. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing, don't they? Doesn't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. So that drive goes eight plays, and it's capped off by a touchdown for the Lions. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Here's Aaron Jones in the offense trotting back out. It may just be the second quarter, but he's in his own well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books, but it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that the means line. he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. Rodgers now on first. 
first down. Got him, man. It's Tanyan complete. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, it's Rodgers throwing the out route incomplete. That's Adams. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the gun, Rodgers. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. He was looking for his running back, Aaron Jones, that time. But it's going to be second down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. And despite the good footwork, he'll be hit and dropped shy of the 45. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Sometimes it pays to be lucky rather than good. That was not even the intended receiver on that pass. But still able to haul it in for the reception. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Rodgers again now. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw Aaron Jones put together a very nice first half. His guys lead, though by only a field goal. Still anybody's game. As we send it back to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. So it's the Packers set to receive the kick. They've got the lead as well as we are underway in the third quarter. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because... Now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's we'll see if they do just that. The second half starts with a carry by Jones. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. 
Tracy Walker in on the tackle. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. On second and nine, Rodgers making the catch of Sternberger. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 11 yards there, first down. Here's Rodgers to throw. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. That's a jet sweep. This is Adams. And he's got this down to the 35. 15 yards on the play, first down. I think the reason that this play is so successful is not just the blocking at the point of attack, but how about the speed at which he takes the handoff? He's in motion already, so he's not coming from a flat start like a running back often is. He's at a full run by the time he gets the football. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. This is Jones. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple down inside the 35 to the 34. Last run got a couple here, second and eight. Shotgun now for Rodgers. This one to the right, caught by Valdez Scantlick. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Detroit was up for the challenge through the air. They force a fourth down. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. They'll go with Jones. And they'll get this down to the 10. It's first and goal after they rip off a solid chunk of yardage in the ground game on a risky fourth down call. Remember, that was fourth and a full two yards. There's a big difference between that and fourth and maybe six inches or a yard. Yeah, you're exactly right, because when it's that six inches, you just fall forward and you pick it up, right? You just go quarterback sneak. But having to move bodies, that means you actually have to execute because they know what you're going to do. How are you going to make the right play call and get everyone into the right spot and win at the line of scrimmage? That's what they did there. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Throwing is Rodgers. This will be caught at about the five. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. From 10 yards out. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. Extra point try now for Crosby.
And his guys will take a 10-point lead. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it ends with a Packers touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Raymond now on the return. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Tyrell Williams heading back out onto the field now. Individually, he's done his thing with the two touchdowns. Bottom line, though, they're losing. Seems to me that they need to get the ball to him a little bit more. Hey, you're right, he's done his part. They might need a little bit extra from him in order for them to try and get back into this game. Maybe a third, maybe a fourth touchdown. We'll see. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They're down now 24-14. Work to do as they come up on a first and 10. Now a throw over the middle, and he's got it to start the drive. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They run out of the gun with Swift and able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. Definitely too early to panic, but that is his fourth carry of the game, and collectively has in total 10 yards. So maybe there's no panic, but maybe some concern. Yeah, and maybe a little concern up front because they're not giving him any space right now. From the 41, Goff catches made by Hawkinson, the tight end. That catch good for five. It's third down. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way. Work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner? Safety? Linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. First down Detroit, 16 yards on the pickup. After he cleared the line of scrimmage, nice little hole developed. Yeah, yeah, great blocking right there at the start. But how about his vision, finding the open spaces and letting his feet carry him to him? So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 38. They'll fake the handoff. Now go off. And he's going to go down. Back near midfield at the 49. Rashawn Gary. What a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. Hindsight is 20-20, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O-line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Another try after the first down sack. Golf. 
And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, that play was certainly a little bit different because on the previous play, he was sacked. This time, protection a lot better. Had time to survey the field and still couldn't find an open receiver. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. Here comes the Lions punter now. On, we think, to punt, though he's faked it earlier, but he was unsuccessful. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds, and they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems he? like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 from back at their own 10-yard line. He'll set up to throw. Looking left side, he's got it complete. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Didn't they tell us in our meetings that they needed to account for him on each and every play? You think? A guy of his caliber? So how does a guy like him get that wide open? That usually means there's a tire breakdown on what the coverage was. That everyone thought they were doing something and they were supposed to be doing something else. But bottom line is, no matter what, you have to know where he is and cover him on every play. Rodgers now on first down. He's got the hook up to Lazard. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 18 more yards there and another first down. Back-to-back good plays have him on the move on first down. Rodgers going to throw. This one complete to Tanyan underneath. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. more and this one incomplete too much contact to hold on to that one and it's third down well so much for getting separation no chance there locked down tight forcing the incompletion on that attempt so after the second down incompletion they'll come up now against a third and six and again it's Rodgers and Adams has it, complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 29-yard line. Nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. First down, Rodgers. 
Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Consecutive catches for him. That good for 11. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. And he's got it. And the Packers are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Try and run it in with Jones. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Green Bay touchdown. Aaron Jones, his second touchdown of the night. And the Packers add on to their lead. So the second time tonight, he has hit the end zone, Charles. Some people just have a natural nose for the end zone, and he's exhibiting that here in this game. Big time job, and of course, he's got to pat the backs of the offensive line. Yeah, they can't be lost in the shuffle. They're vital. Now Crosby for the point after. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So that drive in total, eight plays. And the last play in the drive was a touchdown run by Aaron Jones. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Raymond now on the return. And able to get this out to the 25. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not, He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, <laughs> all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Oh, poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his <laughs> fault. But so, hey, listen, there's, some, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Now a play fake here on first down. Space to maneuver at the 40. Got his man. That's Tyrell Williams. A well-executed 22-yard gain. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this one. He's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Out of the gun. Gone. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And finally down at the 36-yard line. 18 more yards there and another first down. To back good plays have them on the move on first down. Yeah. 
And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So from the 36 now, first and 10. A shotgun snap for Gong. And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. Again, Goff got a man over the middle. It's Williams. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. The Lions on third down. They've hit four of seven. They're looking at third and a few inches. Goff throwing again. Got a man. It's complete. Williams. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. So with a yardage on that completion, he's now right at exactly 300 yards on the game. And isn't that the magic number you get, all right, 300? That means it's going to go on a commemorative football to put on your mantle when they give you the game ball if your team wins. So much confidence flowing through him right now, throwing the football. I think it's permeated itself throughout the entire team. They feel good about what they're doing. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the court. He's got his man. It's caught for a Lion touchdown. Brashad Perriman there to make the grab. And the Lions are able to cut into this lead. And a play fake down near the goal line here worked out well. Anytime you can make them think that you're going to run the ball and go to that play action pass, you see the end result, usually a touchdown. Is that harder? Is the play fake harder to defend for the defense near the goal line or no? Because there's not as much room to work with. It is harder because down near the goal line, you're thinking much more of a running play, especially if people run out big formations. So it is harder to defend. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And the end result, a Detroit touchdown. So the lead back down to 10 as things get a little more interesting, and the kick is away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he returns this to the 22. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 22. He'll look to throw right away. Got a man. It's Tanyan complete. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. 
Three yards the gain there, second down. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. The Packers on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This is third and nine. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Oh, incomplete, nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. First quarter, Charles, you really emphasized the importance of winning the turnover battle as a visiting team, as an underdog. They haven't forced a single turnover in this game. And right now they're losing, so no turnovers might lead to no victory. On is the punter Scott here as he gets this one away. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And the Lions will take over. Detroit's offense ready to take over. Well, still a long way to go, but trending upward. They scored the last time out, you remember. Then their defense forced the punt. Now they try to inch closer, but still ultimately down two scores in the final quarter. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 45. From the gun, here's Goff. Pass incomplete. DeAndre Swift, the intended receiver that time. But it'll be second down. now looks to throw and that one goes incomplete he's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it they have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive they forced a couple of incomplete passes bring up a third and ten don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap the Lions on third down they've had good success five for eight to this point this is third and ten to throw is gone He'll find Swift out of the backfield. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Did they maybe play that too safely on third down? I know you don't want to just throw a ball blindly downfield, but that didn't help them a whole lot. I think they probably said if it's open, take the shot. If not, get something safe because we do have fourth down to try and pick it up. Here comes the Lions punter now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here, as this is toward the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. And now trotting back out with the rest of his offensive mates, the big tight end. So after he looked really good early, they haven't been able to find the big tight end as much. What gives? Well, sometimes that's not in the game plan defensively. They're trying to take away other people, or they weren't expecting him to get off to such a hot start. But now, <laughs> they know he's out there. They've made a few adjustments, surround him with a few more people, a few different coverages. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now. Does he change up a few things to try and work his way open? Throwing on first down is Rodgers. 
Pass hauled in by the 6'4 tight end Sternberger. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Seven yards, the pick up there. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, we're beyond the tone setting right now. This guy's been the bell cow all day, and they'll continue to rely on him to move the chains, drain the clock, and lead his team. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was looking for the connection with Devin Funches. And now it's second down. Throwing again. Rodgers making the catch is Sternberger. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 11 yards there, first down. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and 10. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Slant to Adams. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Well, normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game, and trusting this quarterback, I think he continued to do so. Rodgers now on first down. This one complete to Tanya underneath. That catch good for only a couple. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Rodgers again now. Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. And he gets it down to the 32. The Packers on third down. Five out of nine thus far. This will be third and five. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 13 yards, first down Packers. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. More muscle up front for this second and two. They've got three tight ends out there. And again, it's Rodgers. His pass caught at the four. 
And the Packers are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. First target, first catch, and a first down. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. This is obviously a critical sequence for this defense if they want to stay in this game. Down two scores already. They give up a touchdown here. That makes things really difficult for their offense moving forward. From back at the four, here's second and goal. They'll try again with Jones. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Oftentimes, when you see a running back get bunched up in the backfield, it's usually because the defensive tackle is eating up blockers for others to make the play. Not in this case. And now can they reverse the trend on third and goal with the last two plays having gone backwards? From the gun, it's Rodgers. This is caught. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. They're able to hold him to three there, and that leads to a fourth and goal. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. And I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And Crosby puts it through, and that will stretch the lead up to 13. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. After the made field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. So Jared Goff in the offense. Down by 13, just over two minutes to go. They'll have one play here just north of the two-minute warning. Now golf on first down. Got a man, that's Allison. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. The throw complete here to Williams. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 16 yards, a first down. And that last reception puts him over 150 yards now on the game, Charles. And now it's not just execution. It's not just performance. It's a mental aspect that's going on. Because right now, 
He has kept the defense so much on their heels. Got them looking at each other. Who's going to cover this guy? And what type of coverage can we put out there to try and slow him down? And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Well, I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over him, and they got there to break that one up. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing again is gone. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end, a guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. And he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first. But at least it's fourth down. Goff and his guys not coming off the field. They're going for this. Here we go on fourth. Goff. And that is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And this defense will take over right near midfield at the 49-yard line. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. So good field position for the Packers as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. They'll try and run some clock now with Jones. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Jones. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So they come up on second down. If they can get another run like we just saw, it would likely put an end to this thing. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. Jones and Jones is not gonna have the first down as they stop him short call it no gain that time and they're gonna be left looking up at a fourth and one that time they're able to bottle him up but he's having a really nice game I agree with that let's just go big picture right every back that's in the Hall of Fame had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage but you stick with them don't you when they're having a good game keep feeding them So now the field goal unit trots out there for the third time tonight. From the left hash, this will be a 41-yarder. The kick by Crosby is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So he remains perfect, three for three in the field goal department. And it's so important for any offense to have an ace like him up their sleeve, isn't it? Because now 
You know what his range is, and as soon as your offense gets there, you're pretty much counting on three points going up on the board. After the main field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Offense ready to kick off their next drive. They have a little bit of time left here, but this one not going to go their way. And this is where, in this situation for me, you just go ahead and run out the clock, shake hands, congrats. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And into the end zone. It's a pick six and a Packer touchdown. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception, return for touchdown. Door closed, locked, reinforced. point try now for Crosby and he's been a busy man five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead so the defense creating some points not only getting the interception but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six For the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And this will make it into the end zone. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Packers are winners here as we say so long from Lambeau.